Also here tonight, a group of migrants staying at an encampment, sending a list of demands to the desk of the mayor of Denver. And if the demands are met, they say that they'll leave their encampment and move to a city-funded shelter. Also, the one Rogelio Male is joining us live with both sides of this issue. All new at 9. Rogelio. Yeah, Erica, Jeremy, it's kind of a tug of war between both sides. On one side, you've got the migrants who say the city reneged on a deal they made with them. On the other side, you've got the city lobbying these migrants to get off the streets and into shelters, telling us tonight these benefits are available to them as long as they're staying in those city-funded shelters. The camp as a collective came up with a list of demands. That came after a petition by city officials for migrants to move from this encampment near train tracks under a bridge to indoor shelters funded by the city. This morning they sent buses to take people over without presenting that document. Uh, and without having any kind of signature um, for accountability. That's what migrant advocate V Reeves says the city responded with instead of meeting the migrants' demands. We've been offering time and shelter, basically just trying to get families to, to leave that camp and come inside. John Ewing with Denver Human Services says shelter comes with its perks, namely getting out of these conditions outdoors. It comes with, you know, three square meals a day. You can cook your own if you'd like to. That is one of the main demands by these migrants who have had their grievances in the past about the food provided by the city. There have been so many complaints about the food being spoiled or not being enough and malnutrition amongst children. Migrants who do stay in shelters are often put on a path toward a work permit. Reeves says these folks haven't received the same benefits. They're not receiving any kind of official um, housing or um, immigration document support, which is incredibly necessary for them to be able to navigate the bureaucracy around these systems. The city says its own offer comes with the these benefits. What do you qualify for? What do you not qualify for? What might be something that, that is a feasible pass, path for you to success that is not staying on the streets of Denver? We try to compromise. We try to figure something out. You know, at the end of the day, what we do not want is families on the streets of Denver. Yeah, so in all, the migrants sent a list of 13 demands to the city. The city, meanwhile, says it is continuing to send buses to this encampment for any migrants who change their mind and want to take that offer for city funded shelter, whether it be congregate or in a hotel. We're live in Denver, Rogelio Modest, Fox 31. All right, we'll see if the demands go.